asked you this multiple times on this homestand, but, uh, not just what does it say about this team to be able to have the team you walk us, but this homestand in particular, what can this do for the team going forward? Well, I think that was asked the other day. I think that, again, it, it, it gives us, you know, a feeling every night that we're, that we can, you know, we can win every game regardless of what's happening early in the game, middle part of the game, if, if, if things shift. Uh, you know, the, the thing about it, and we talked about this, Patrick, that, you know, there's there's 54 outs in a game, in a 9 inning game. And today, you know, there were more. But our guys play. I mean, they just keep playing. And they, they don't, uh, you know, they don't stop, which is a, which is a tremendous trait. So, uh, again, proud of these guys for, again, just, you know, staying at it when, you know, things sort of shifted, you know, they're late. Uh, so, again, that's what, I mean, that's what we do. I mean, we keep playing, so it's a tribute to the guys. With Freeland struggling again today, how much do you need to have Bettis and Diaz both come in? And well, the whole, the whole group, uh, you know, uh, Chad did a nice job, you know, with one day's rest after pitching two innings uh, two nights ago. Diaz, a big two innings. So, you know, when you get a, a short start, you know, in the middle of a homestand, you know, it's, it's tough. But, you know, again, our guys responded. There were some big pitches made. Those guys did a nice job to put four clean innings up to get us into the deeper part of the game. You guys are well aware that a number of, number of our pitchers have been stretched over the last week with multiple appearances. Uh, but, you know, they, they step up and pitch because they're, you know, they, you know, they want to pitch. And they feel like they can, you know, they can get their outs. Sometimes we have to take the ball from them. But uh, it's, it's, again, it's another great quality to have, you know, pitchers who want the ball and realize what's going on in, in the bullpen and, and realize what's going on, what's needed. But, you know, there's always conversation between us and the pitchers about their availability, how they're doing, how their arms are, how their stuff is. So, but, uh, you know, it's good to see collectively the 25 guys. And Murphy obviously didn't have the start of the season one with the injury, he came back. Uh, the results weren't quite there. I'm not sure if you've seen something different in the process lately, but for him to both start it and finish it for you guys today, what has it been like having the... Well, again, I think Murph, you know, again, I, I still don't think Murph has hit his stride. I don't think we've seen the best of Daniel Murphy. I really don't. I think that he's still, uh, you know, getting his reps, getting his timing, getting his bat speed. But uh, today you saw... You know, a hard hit grounder that, you know, the first baseman dove, second baseman got shielded. Uh, you know, that at bat, you know, the line to line type of hitting that we've seen from Murph, but he hasn't hit a stride. Uh, you're going to see the real Daniel Murphy. Have you seen a big benefit, something specific of having him hit right behind Nolan Arnold for both of them? Well, I, I think when you look at those two guys, uh, you know, you're talking about two really good hitters. So I, I think it, uh, you know, when you're an opposing team and you see, you know, the type of hitter that Daniel Murphy is behind, you know, a, a great player like Nolan, it helps, it helps both guys. And for much of the run of play today, you had um, guys like David Dahl delivering what, four hits and also McMahon. To have those guys lengthen that your lineup and provide some Yeah, we've talked, we've talked about that. I think the, you know, the, our lineup, again, as it's, as it's constructed, as we have guys in there, you know, we think we're deep. You know, we, we think that. And I think that our offense, again, is starting to hit their stride. And we've seen that the last month. You know, we've seen our offensive production rise. We've seen guys, you know, start to statistically improve. But specifically today, to your point, David had a great day. Four hits, opposite field homer, some good swings. Mac got a hold of a, a breaking ball and hit it in the second deck. He had a big walk. Uh, you know he's having good at bats. So, uh, you know, again, I mean, it's it's the it's the talent of the group that I think is starting to show up overall. Desi off the bench hitting a homer to get us with win one run. So, you know, there's some there's some good things happening. Tony, Tony with a little base hit to to get our eighth run to give us a three run lead. So there's, you know, there's good things happening throughout the group. Particularly when, when you have two guys like Dahl and McMahon who've had so much hype before they got here. 
to see them to get settled in right. and start to play up to that hype? Well, you know, Trace, the, you know, the, the process has been a couple years, right? So I think they're in position, and we've, we've talked about that, and I think that, you know, they're uh, in a great <coughs> mental frame of, frame of mind to, to take on this part of being a big leader, and it's, it's great to see. You know, you can, you can tell by the conversations we're having, the, you know, how they're, you know, they're going through their day, you know, it's, it's, it's collected, it's poised, it's, uh, there's intensity, but yet there's a confidence, so it's, it's good stuff. What do you see from Kyle Freeland today? Same issues, different issues? You know, I, I think a little, a, little, a little bit of the same, uh, kids. I think that, you know, there were some balls that were up on the plate that, uh, you know, the Diamondbacks took advantage of. I think that, again, uh, you know, it's about location. You know, the stuff was good. The stuff's fine. Uh, the velocity was there. Uh, you know, we have to, we have to do some things. Uh, with Kyle, I think, to get him back on track. So, uh, you know, too early to, to, to say what those are, but, you know, there's a, there's a need for, you know, some adjustments with, uh, with Kyle, whether it's pitch selection, whether it's location. I think the delivery part, I think, is, is in a pretty good spot. Now it's just, you know, put, putting some pitches together. I, I mean, he's so competitive. Very competitive. And he's up. it seems obvious he's frustrated. Sure. Well, what can you do to help him? Well, again, you keep that conversation. We, you know, we, we, you know, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna talk. Uh, we're gonna talk to Kyle. We're gonna, we're gonna figure this out. Anything else? Okay. Thanks, Mechanically, physically. Uh, I mean, today specifically, and then, and then was it different than the previous start? Um, physically, mechanically, I feel fine. Results aren't there, doesn't feel right. Coming out, it's not going where I want to, it's not having the action that I want. Are, are there times when it does feel right and it's just about accumulating more and more of those moments or do you, do you just kind of? Yeah, it's not consistent. It's not, I, I'm not able to repeat that uh, when I do feel that, you know, I hit it on the end and, you know, make a quality pitch where I want to go. Uh, for some reason right now, I can't repeat that. I know you want to do well, but to come out of a game like this, have the team win, get this team above 500. Does it feel at least, hey, uh, the team's hanging in there, so I'm not pulling them down? Or where is it? Yeah, I mean, you've seen it all season. And the past two years, this team doesn't quit no matter what. I mean, those first three, four innings were back to back punches to the face from each team. And we never quit and ended up taking a win out of it. Frustration is understandable anytime you don't get the results you want. Is the frust what's the frustration level and is it in the way of trying to find a solution at this point? The frustration is high, no doubt. Um, I'm doing everything I can to get back to being me and the pitcher that I know I can be. And I don't think frustration is getting in the way. I mean, it, it definitely builds on you. I mean, you time, time and time again, when you go out to the mound and you're not getting what you want, um, it, it sucks. Are there times when you throw a pitch, maybe get a double play, and say, yeah, that's it, that's me, and then the next pitch, is that is that what it's feeling like right now? Yeah, I mean, whenever I get whenever I get that or have, you know, double play, strike out, whatever, I try and use that momentum as much as I can to try and get myself going and, and you know, get into that groove of um, getting hitters out quickly um, and, and getting back to myself of executing pitches down the zone and keeping hitters off balance. Kyle, who are you talking to now besides your pitching coaches and, and Buddy to to maybe get a perspective outside yourself to to get a look? You talking to your dad, anybody else that, that might have a clue? Or do you try to shut out too many voices? Um, right now I'm trying to take in whatever I can that makes sense to me. I've had quite a few people reach out to me to, you know, tell me what they think, what they see, you know, old pitching coaches, old coaches, friends. Um, I'm just trying to find ways for me to understand what is going to help me get back to being me. Is there maybe a central thesis that you're getting from those coaches? Is there one theme of their comments? Not really. Right now it's a whole bunch of different things from a whole lot of different people and trying to trying to funnel that as best I can and use what, again, what I, what I understand and what I think will help me. There we go.
Talk about as crazy a game as you've been involved in, just the sort of ups and downs and back and forth. Yeah, it was a battle, man. Um, you know, they they came out, they didn't go away. Um, so you, know, you got to tip your cap to them uh, a little bit there. But you know, I thought our bullpen did pretty good. You know, Jack came in, Howard came in. You know, had some unfortunate breaks, but they really got back into it. But offense came back and, and battled, and battled their butts off, and Murph, had, Murph got a great hit. I don't know if you guys saw it. He didn't know where it was. He was like, he swung and he was looking. And he had no idea. <laughs> it was cool. It was a great, great win for us. Were you guys yelling, telling him to run the first? I, I didn't say anything. I just started celebrating. But I saw him struggling a little bit to find the ball. It was funny. You know, a situation where things were going well for you all day. Um, first on the home run, what did you see on that? And Yeah, um, you know. He, he made a good pitch away, and I think, you know, I think their catcher was probably thinking, I was thinking about trying to cover that pitch, um, you know, and I was just focused on getting back back in my approach, waiting for him to make a mistake, and uh, got one. That's a monster shot. You feel that off the bat? Oh, man, I got, I got all of that. Yeah, that one felt good. <laughs> you felt a triple short of the cycle. Is that anything you even think about during the game? Anyone say anything? No, because it's hard for me to get a triple. I'm not very fast, so <laughs> I, don't, I don't really worry or think about that stuff, especially during the game. I think the, what's happening throughout your lineup, uh, obviously you saw what uh, Murph did, but Dahl the home run, yeah. and really all throughout, he comes off the bench. You guys are playing good baseball. Yeah, Des got right in there, made an impact. Uh, Dahl obviously had a heck of a day, story too, you know, so it was it was a great day for, for a lot of the guys, but more importantly, got the win. Four walk-offs in a week, is it? That's crazy, like, right? Yeah. Is, is that tie in records or anything? No. I, I, I think yeah, it's a the record, record, record yeah. for a home stand. Okay. Yeah. So we need one more. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Does it get to be like kind of exhausting at all, or is it fun? No, man, it's fun every time. <laughs> Everyone's fun. Yeah, everyone's fun. Well, you, you've hit second deck shots so right here before, I think. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I think you have. Anyway, do you? Like, it's a pretty good visual. Do you? Do you get to? Do you see it at all? It's yeah. Good. Although I hit that one, I smiled at the dugout, and then like I whipped my head around and saw it, saw it land. But yeah, no, that's it's a good feeling, man, seeing it go up upper, upper deck. Thanks, Ryan. Ryan, at yeah. one point you guys were like three and twelve, the San Francisco trip. Now you're twenty nine and twenty eight. What does that say about this? Whole we're playing some good ball, man. Uh, you know, we obviously didn't start the way we wanted to, but uh, you know, I think we're, we're slowly but surely getting to uh, you know kind of our peak performance. You can say, you know, hopefully we hit our stride and just keep on. Where the ball even went on that That's right. So take us through the uh, pattern where you um, you just take us through. Well, Ron's got a real good, real good splitter. So. I wanted to settle in and see a pitch. He threw me a good one, um, a pitch I probably swung at from him before. And I was able to get one of them up. I think it was 2-1 on the count. I uh, took a pretty good one, 1-1. One, one. Um, and then I hit it, and I didn't know where it was, but then I heard the crowd, um, and they seemed excited. <laughs> so I thought I, I needed to touch first base after that. But what a team win. I thought the bullpen was, was really good today. Betty comes in, and Desi comes off the bench and cuts the lead in half. Um, you know, Mac has a huge day, Dolly has a huge day, Trevor has a big day, and even Nolan out there, and I think we could see that, you know, he wasn't quite feeling great at the plate, still comes over with a huge base hit for us. It was, uh, it was a really good team. What is it like to be hitting behind Nolan in situations like that where they pass Nolan, they go to you, and, you know, you, you've had a pretty good career here, but they're walking Nolan in your arm. You, Nolan's probably one of the most dangerous guys on the planet right now, so it was a good play. Like I would do that every single time. Um, you sleep better at night having Nolan not beat you, I think is a, is a good way to describe it. With the way he's swinging the bat, I keep looking up, what is he? He's going to hit 400 on the month. When's the month over? Tomorrow. Yeah, he's banging right now. So it's a reasonable decision for them to make. Um, you know, fortunately, I was able to come through. And you're finishing this month really strong. It was a tough month in the beginning, coming off the injury. What do you think you've done to, to really get to where you need to be? Um, you know, I didn't swing the bat well early on, but, you know, you get two choices. You stand up and fight or, you know, kind of lay down. And um, this league has a – doesn't feel sorry for you. So I have a choice every day coming in, and I can compete like a maniac, try to not give away a pitch, and that's just what I'm trying to do. Have you ever had a streak like this? I mean, four four walk-offs and one home stand. Have you ever been through that as a team before? No. Yeah. No, it's uh, been really remarkable. I think it's a testament um, to the resiliency of this team. It's as um, – is it resilient a group as I've ever been a part of and probably ever seen, I think, or competed against. Does that, does that give you a good feeling about what can happen as the year goes on, as maybe some of the rotation things get straightened out or whatever else, the, the resiliency of this team to go with the other parts coming together? Yeah, I think the ebb and flow of an entire season is you're never going to have really everybody hitting on all cylinders at once. It's kind of like pistons, and you hope as you get into the season they start 
we start firing together. Um, I'll be the first to say that I'm looking forward to, to Kyle's next start. I've experienced how good he is on a personal level. Um, we know he's going to come out of it. Um, and I'm excited for, you know, what is it, uh, six days from now we got off day in Chicago. I think is he probably up again in Chicago. So, um, you know, I'll give him the ball every day of the week if I could. Um, other than, you know, fighting as you've talked about, any adjustments or have you started feeling better physically with a hand? What What is with this? Give me one. Um, not particularly. Um, you know, get, you, get, you try not to think that um, you feed off of, you know your production but you get a couple base hits to fall and you start feeling pretty good about yourself and, um you know got one early today that i'll take and uh, then you you know you feel pretty good about yourself so you know i wouldn't say anything specific physically you know pitchers and hitters i know are kind of different worlds but as a veteran you, is there ever anything that you could offer a pitcher who's going through a slow college like how is is it anything that's even helpful that you can um, the one thing I feel comfortable with him is looking him in the eye and tell him I want him to take the ball every fifth day because I do. Um, that's, you know, as far as, you know, you know, what he's feeling maybe mechanically or anything like that, that's, uh, that's beyond my scope, I would say. But, you know, I look him in the eye and tell him, you know, I want you to have the ball. Thanks, Murphy. Mm -hmm. Cheers, guys. Uh, it's been really fun. Uh, we have a great team. Uh, we don't give up. And we know to the last out we're going to be right there. And, you know, definitely a lot of momentum going into this next series. Collectively, as a group, that when you have four walk-offs, I mean, how do you how do you guys collectively stay calm and not not worry or, or you know get things out of the way? How do you guys, as a group, stay calm? Uh, it's tough, but we know we've done it before, um, so we know we can do it again. And I think that's the big thing when you get in these situations. Just having that experience definitely helps. You really started to get that power going again lately. That opposite field shot today is that kind of when you know you're going right when you're able to take that. Yeah, uh, it was a good swing. Uh, it was a backdoor slider that kind of stayed out there. I you know, just tried to, try to put the barrel on it. And that's really what I'm trying to do. Just trying to be nice and simple. Uh, keep the leg lift nice and quick and you know, up down. And that's kind of what I'm just trying to do right now. Just be simple. David, at one stretch you guys were like 3-12 and 12 or something like that. Now you're over 500. What, is, what does that say about uh, what you guys are doing, the direction you're going in? Remember that stretch. Uh, I think right now we're playing playing good baseball. We just got to keep it going. Um, a lot of game left, a lot of season, a lot of season left. So I uh, just try to win as many as you can, and hopefully by the, at the end of the year we're right there. You guys have a lot of good offensive players, but to add someone as experienced as Murphy to hit behind Nolan, what has that done for your lineup? Yeah, it definitely extends the lineup a lot. He's a great hitter. Uh, you know, he's hit like 300 in his whole career, so he's going to put up professional bats, and you know he, he's a great player, and he showed that today.